Hey guys, Brad Wolfson back here at Soulcraft Martial Arts. Uh, hanging with my main man Sergio, doing some training. And uh, I want to show you a technique this week. Something I like a lot from that lapel setup from side control. Really simple triangle, really effective. I use this all the time. Hope you like it. Thanks. All right, guys, so look, starting from our side control here, okay? The key on this position is that I need to have my partner's arm away from his body, okay? So if it's not already there in the transition, Boom, well, maybe I came in the on belly or I passed the guard here and the arm was already up and I was able to get in, okay? If it's not already there, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that knee to separate it. I have a good underhook on my partner's head, okay? Making that good con connection here with those ring here and pinky, those bottom two fingers right underneath. And I like to pull my partner in and drive my shoulder a little bit, okay? I can always drop this leg too and create more pressure in here on him if I need to, okay? I want a good pressure on his shoulder so he can't turn toward me, okay? So now look, even though he knows what I'm doing, I'm gonna start opening up that lapel, okay? If he doesn't know what I'm doing, great. A lot of times there'll be a, a passageway under here. It'd be very easy to either pass it under to my hand or simply sneak it over, knee, over here, boom, to my hand in here, okay? But my partner's pretty smart here, he's pretty savvy, and he's defending this real estate pretty well. Either that or maybe his gi's just not that long and I didn't get a good bite on it when I was pulling it out. He's kind of giving me some trouble there. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna go over the middle of it, okay? Guys, look, notice how I'm not going over the elbow or over the wrist here. I'm going right in the middle of the forearm. So I'm gonna open that tail of the lapel and I'm gonna pass it right over the middle here, palm down to my hand, okay? So one gives to the other, draw my elbow back a little bit to keep, create a little tension and keep his arm pinned in there like a little chicken wing, okay? And now I'm gonna be ready to go. All at once, I'm on my toes here. I'm gonna take a big step as I lean the pressure into his neck. I'm gonna take a big step over to the shoulder. Boom, post the foot strong here, okay? Immediately as my foot goes down, now look what we're gonna do. I'm gonna release the lapel, and I'm gonna go two hands on the head, okay? This is the key as far as I can tell to this position, is controlling my partner's head. If my weight is on the chest and I'm controlling the head, it's very difficult for him to move. Go ahead, Serge, move a little bit, okay? Very, very strong control here. I'm only here for a second until I can lean all my weight toward my leg, okay? Underhook the head, I'm gonna kinda fill in that gap here with that crook of my knee, and I'm gonna lean all my weight onto my knee and my hand, okay? So now I'm in a really good position to either start to use my thigh here to turn the corner and change my angle, okay? Really tight position here now, I can attack the arm very easily, I can attack the wrist very easily, okay? Or I can lean onto that leg and close the triangle here, boom, okay? Or if you prefer, and what I generally prefer from here, my knees aren't too good, I don't like to finish it from here, unless I'm taking the arm lock or the wrist lock, I'm gonna roll, so I'm gonna grab my own shin here, I'm gonna hit a tight roll over my shoulder, tuck my chin, and roll. As I roll to the top here, I'll block for a second here with my foot on the hip, and then when I'm ready, I'll take my foot, put it on the mat, and use it as a kickstand here, okay? Look how I angle my leg, so that if my partner is bigger than me, and he starts to push me over there, it makes it a little harder for him to push me. See how I walk my foot out a little bit to create a little bit of a wall here, okay? Still holding my shin, that's the key on the triangle here. Hold that shin just so my partner can't make posture. Make my angle, walk my body out perpendicular, up and over with my leg, okay? Close my triangle now and I go for my three pressures. Trash compactor from Star Wars, right? Let your legs kind of come together, let the walls cave in here. Dorsiflex your feet and pull down on your partner's head as you lift a little bit here, nice and easy, okay? Gradual pressure on that triangle. I start about two, turn that radio up to four, out to six, up to eight, until everything gets tighter and tighter and tighter. It's a blood shake, okay? Let's go one more time, please. Okay, my partner's down. All right, guys, again, I'm isolating this arm from the body. Getting a good pressure with that head, with that shoulder here, boom. Drive it in, down and out, okay? Use my toes here, turn my body, make it a little bit miserable for him as I open this up. I wanna keep him here, okay? He's smart, he's creating a lot of pressure here and I just can't get that lapel underneath very well, okay? So, no problem, I don't force it. I just go look, over the middle. My underhand here, my palm down is waiting to receive that lapel and cinch it up, okay? And now I'm ready to go, I'm up and in one shot, I'm over the shoulder, big step there, okay? I don't wanna hang on here, I wanna control his head so I'm gonna, Grab the head and release. Two hands on the wheel for a second. As I log that leg in there, right underneath, boom, okay? Leaning my weight toward my knee. All right, and now I'm in a good position, okay? Notice how I wanna get my angle. I'm straight on with Sergio right now. I'm gonna start to 
make my angle as I lift. Boom, turn the corner a little bit. So now I'm perpendicular. This is a very strong position to arm lock from. Here or here. Very strong position to wrist lock from. Or finish the triangle. Or roll. Boom. One, okay. Lock it in. Put your kickstand down here. Make your wall. Make your angle. And finish your three pressures, okay? Squeeze those knees together. Curl those toes. And lift your hips, boom, as you pull a little bit. Okay. Guys, Brad Wolfson, Soulcraft Martial Arts here, Hamden, Connecticut. Uh, part of Makara BJJ Association under Master Marcio Stambowski. Um, if you're ever in the area, please open door. Come in and visit us. We'd love to have you come roll with us and uh, check out Makara BJJ. And uh, subscribe to one more of our videos. Thanks. Take care.